Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past video tutorial, we are trying to understand nth pseudo classes, that is nth pseudo class selectors. In the previous video tutorial, we have discussed nth child pseudo class as well as nth last child pseudo class. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss some more nth pseudo classes. In the previous video tutorial, to understand nth pseudo classes, we have written this sample code. In the body section, we have created two divs. The first div has an id div1, second div has an id div2. First div has the border red border and the second div has the green border. Both div have five paragraphs. This is the output for that code. You can see here the first div has the red border, second div has the green border as well as both divs are having five paragraphs. In the previous video tutorial, we have understood that to target the first child of any parent and apply the style, we use the first child pseudo class. We have seen that p colon first child in flower brackets, I am going to write here border of 2px dotted blue semicolon. What I am telling to the browser, locate any paragraph if it is the first child of its parent HTML element apply the border to px dotted blue. Of course, this paragraph is the first child of its parent HTML element. Similarly, this paragraph is the first child of its parent HTML element. Hence, they are going to have 2px dotted blue border. File, save, good browser and refresh. You can see that first children of both the divs are paragraphs and they have the dotted blue border. Similarly, we can also use the nth child right we can also use the nth child and there we can give one what's the meaning of this code locate any paragraph if it is the first child of its parent html element apply the 2px dotted blue border of course this paragraph is the first child of div1 this paragraph is the first child of div2 hence both of them are going to have 2px dotted blue border file save go to browser and refresh you can see that there is no change. The first children of both the divs are paragraphs. They have the dotted blue border. Let's proceed and see something else. I am going to add one h3 element here. I am going to add one h3 element saying heading text closing h3. I'm going to copy this code and paste it in div2 also. Now in div1 we have one h3 element. In div2 we have one h3 element. This time I am telling to the browser. Locate any paragraph if it is the first child of its parent HTML element applied to px dotted blue border. But this time h3 is the first child of div1, not the paragraph, right? This paragraph is not the first child of div2. h3 is the first child of div2. Hence, this code won't perform any effect on paragraphs. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that no paragraph has a dotted blue border because no paragraph is the first child of their parent. And also you can see heading text is added, right? What if we want to select the first paragraph? What if we want to select the first paragraph and apply the style on them? In the previous video tutorial, we have learned that we can use a pseudo class called as first of type pseudo class, right? To select the first element of type, right? Here we have, we are telling to the browser, locate any paragraph. If it is the first of type P, then apply the 2px dotted blue border. You can see that this paragraph is the first of type P in div1 and this paragraph is the first of type P in div2. Hence, both of them are going to have dotted blue border. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that both of them are having the dotted blue border. What if we want to select the second paragraph? What if we want to select the third paragraph and apply the style? There is no pseudo class called as second of type. There is no pseudo class called as third of type. Instead of that, we can use the nth of type pseudo class. That is what I'm going to discuss here now. This is nth of type pseudo class selector. The syntax is we write a selector colon nth of type of n in flower bracket we have declaration list what this syntax helps us to do it selects any html element targeted by the selector if it is the nth element of its type in its parent html element 
For example, P colon nth of type 2 in flower bracket we have border 2px solid red. What this code does? It selects any P element. If it is the second element of P type, if it is the second of type P, then applies the 2px solid red border. Let's see the demonstration. I'm going to copy this and uh, paste here nth of type and here I say 1 at present. What I am telling to the browser, locate any paragraph. If it is the first of type P, then apply the 2px dotted blue border. Of course, this paragraph is the first of type P. Similarly, this paragraph is the first of type P in div2. Hence, they are going to have the dotted blue border. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that there is no change. I can change the number to 2. This time, I am telling to the browser, locate any paragraph if it is the second of type P, apply the dotted blue border. Of course, this paragraph and this paragraph are second of type P. File, save, go to browser and refresh. That is how you can select the second of type, third of type, anything. I hope you guys have understood how we can use the nth of type pseudo class. Let's proceed and understand something more. What if I want to select the last paragraph in div1 and the last paragraph in div2, apply the style on them. One of the simplest way is using the last child pseudo class, right? Because there are no other elements below these P elements. They are the last children. They are the last children, right? What I am telling to the browser, locate any paragraph if it is the last child in its parent HTML element. Of course, this paragraph is the last child of div1. This paragraph is the last child of div2. Hence, both of them are going to have the dotted blue border. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that both the paragraphs which are last children in both divs are having the dotted blue border. We can also use the nth last child in bracket I say 1. That is also we can use nth last child. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, there is no change, right? nth last child. Okay, what happens now? I am going to copy this heading. I copy this heading and paste here. I'm going to copy and paste here. This time you can see that this heading 3 is the last child of div2. This heading 3 is the last child of div1. This paragraph is not the last child of div2. This paragraph is not the last child of div1. Hence, this code won't perform any effect on any paragraphs, right? If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that no paragraph has the dotted blue border. And at the end, we have heading text added. At the end, we have heading text added. Okay. What if I want to select this last paragraph and apply the style? What if I want to select this last paragraph and apply the style on it? What we can do? In the previous video tutorials, we have learned we can use last of type pseudo class, right? We can say here, locate any paragraph. If it is the last of P type, apply the border dotted blue. Of course, this paragraph is the last of type P. This paragraph is the last of type P. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that both the paragraphs which are at the last, right, and they are of type P, they have the dotted blue border. Similarly, we can also use the nth last of type pseudo class. That is what I am going to discuss now. Here, you can see that there is a pseudo class called as nth last of type in brackets we use n. This is a syntax we write a selector colon nth last of type in bracket we have n in flower bracket we have declaration list. What this syntax helps us to do? It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector if it is the nth last element of its type in its parent HTML element. This is the example code p colon nth last of type in bracket we have 2 in flower bracket we have border 2 px solid red. What this code does? It selects any p element if it is the second last element of p type in its parent HTML element. Second last element of p type. Second last of type p. Okay. Let's see the demonstration. Here I say nth last of type p. I'm going to say here 1. What I am telling to the browser? Locate any paragraph if it is the first last of type P. Of course, 
this paragraph is the first last of type P and this paragraph is the first last of type P. Hence, both of them are going to have the dotted blue border. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that there is no change. What if I want to select the second pair last of type P or third last of type P? Simply, we can change the number here. If I say here 2, this time I am telling locate any paragraph if it is the second last of type P, apply the 2px dotted blue. Of course, this paragraph is the second last of type P, this paragraph is the second last of type P, both of them are going to have the dotted blue border. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the second last of type P are having the dotted blue border. That is how you can use the nth last of type pseudo class as well as nth of type pseudo class. nth of type for forward direction, nth last of type for backward direction. Remember that nth child expects the child position whereas nth of type expects the type of the element. Okay. So for this tutorial, this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to try to use these pseudo classes in your HTML pages. Watch these videos again and again, understand everything clearly. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.